Hey Milton, welcome back to another Check It Out Milton episode. Today we're here at the gallery upstairs, which is on the corner of Bronte and Mill Street here in Milton. Now, if you live in Milton or if you've been to Milton recently, you will know that Bronte Street has been closed down for some time and apparently it's going to be closed down for the rest of the year. The gallery upstairs is a business in Milton and they do benefit from a lot of the drive-by traffic, but haven't been able to have that since Bronte Street's been closed down. Hearing about this, I wanted to come in and showcase this wonderful storefront that we have in our community and I was privileged enough to be able to interview owner Heidi today. So come on inside and let's check out the gallery upstairs. The gallery upstairs is a really eclectic shop. You'll be able to find pretty much something for anyone. If you're stuck on having a gift idea for somebody, I think you're definitely going to be able to find something at the gallery upstairs. Thank you so much for having me here, Heidi. Um, please tell me a little bit about the gallery upstairs. Okay, this is my 45th going into 46th year in business. I used to be over on Steeles Avenue at the uh, Harrop Restaurant and Art Gallery since 1976. And I've been in here going into my eighth year. Obviously, I'm a lover of art and a collector of art and a collector of everything that is artistic, right? From artistic food to sculptures to art to popcorn to art on feathers to art on stone sculptures. If it has an artistic, handmade, or love component to it, it's something I'd like to enjoy for myself and pass on to my uh, customers throughout the years. So for many years, I still deal with wonderful original artwork, Tina New Love, Robert Bateman, Pat McGooey, many of the others you'll see here and on my website. And I have decorator art available for people who are just starting out or just want to add a lovely artwork and mood to their homes. And I uh, expanded into large garden art because everyone is going outside to love their gardens. So we have wood cement benches and we have gargoyles and we have angels and we have St. Francis and we have rabbits and, and we have phoenixes, everything from the weird and wonderful to the everyday things that we all love. I love to connect with local artists and they bring me different pieces. I have a lady, Carol, who does soul metal, who does metal privacy pieces for your garden. I have a lady, Betty, who paints on feathers and she's going to be here at the end of the month doing a show. So uh, keep an eye out for that. As you can tell, I'm a chocolate lover. <laughs> um, from Barry's Asparagus, we carry his beautiful asparagus corn chips. He's made a new chocolate that has coffee espresso in it. So you can have a chocolate and have your coffee at the same time. To me, that's very artistic. I support locally Martin Sweets. They make some of the nicest honey. Their bees do that. They put it together properly and raw and maple syrup and maple butter and things along that line. Also have a healing background. I'm into Reiki and uh, alternative healings and I carry a phenomenal line of local CBD products, all non-hallucinogenic, but very effective for pain relief and the CBD oils help tremendously on sleeping and on stress and relaxing people and that has been so busy for me through these last two years of COVID people keep coming back to refill and to bring new friends because it finds it helps them tremendously. I carry puzzles because I think puzzles are the first form for family and kids to start a love for art. I have wonderful mugs by our local artist Robert Bateman. I have the group of seven ones, some Emily Carr, some Lauren Harris, some Van Gogh, anything artistic that expands our mind and you know my love for things. I also have some sculptures coming in, some Remingtons and some Charles Bragg. Uh, some of my art is a little bit eclectic, others is lovely and normal like the group of seven. So I tend to be able to handle both <laughs> things of what you need. I'm happy to help you decorate your home and pick out different pieces. We have a wonderful selection on our website of art decor where we have over a thousand pieces where everything is between 200 and $400. So very reasonable to add work to your offices or your homes or just as wonderful gifts. Art is a beautiful gift for kids rooms they grow up with something different than the weird posters that they get in in later life so we've had that. I do an awful lot of custom framing for years from the reasonable and expensive price diplomas to doing some high-end shadow boxes for your treasures that you want to pass on to your family for years. I've had about 40 years experience and so have my people who put it together so you'll always get a good quality product. We have restoration available on some older artwork. 
So anything you think you want to create to put on your walls, we can help you with. For the gentlemen especially, we frame a lot of sports jerseys and we're also able to get them for you also. I'm gonna say I love having a reasonable gift idea. I have beautiful $10 gifts that you can hang in your windows. Uh, there are little birds and fish and things like that or to give uh, add on to a card and for outside also I like to decorate my trees outside with fairies and birds and things that uh, augment the beauty of nature and make you smile whenever you walk by. So there's really sort of something for everyone when you come into the gallery upstairs. Right? Yes, having been in business that long I, I never want to be able to say gee I don't have the right thing for you. I pride myself in giving you a couple of good selections of what you might need for that gift situation and for yourself because we need to give ourselves more gifts, especially after having sat at home for two years and making do. So let's celebrate our own selves and treat ourselves. Amazing. Especially the chocolate. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> So I have a local lady, Maria, who makes fantastic beeswax into different um, figurines, like there's the Fabergé eggs coming out for Easter, there's little birds, there's flowers. Very reasonable, and beeswax, as you know, burns very clean and is actually good for you and for the environment in your home. So we probably have the best selection around of beeswax candles anywhere in Milton in the area. There's also a nice magazine in the area called Niagara Escarpment Views. They come out four times a year if you're new to Milton or if you've been in Milton forever like I have, you forget how much beauty there is around us. So the magazine does beautiful write-ups on where to go biking and canoeing and things like that in the area. So if you ever want a copy, come in and pick them up. They're always free and we always have a good selection. Having been in business this long, we all have our ups and downs and this particular year I'm faced with the beautiful Bronte Road that is very busy will be closed for construction for the next year, which was quite a blow to my business because a lot of people driving by discover us and obviously if they're not driving by they can't discover us so I would love support from people if there's anything we can help you with come on in and we are, have a very good presence online on our website and we're putting everything on there but it'll be a bit of a challenge to attract new people to us so share this and share our discovery of my lovely little gallery with your friends it's a gallery, a gift shop, a fun place to drop in and you can wander through my gardens and see the garden pieces and just sit down, relax and enjoy nature. We have lots of trees and birds and right now my little dog Isabella is still wandering around visiting people. Oh, that's yeah. good. And so if people do want to, you know, find more or discover more about the gallery online, where would be the best place for them to go? Well, we have a great Facebook page as Gallery Upstairs, but also our website is uh, www.thegalleryupstairs.com. Cheryl Rack has done a fantastic job keeping that up to date and showing all our products on there. You can shop online. We do have delivery in Milton. We can ship anywhere in the world for you, send your gifts to places. We started last year some of our angel cement pieces, using them as a remembrance when somebody passes. A lady bought an angel and then came back and told me that she put it in her niece's garden and the little kids would always go and talk to their aunt, to the angel. So I thought, why don't I, remind people to come and do that. Sometimes flowers are always beautiful, but sometimes a little statue of an angel or a dog or a cat or something feeling allows children and people to connect with someone who has passed on. Oh, that's a beautiful, yeah. a beautiful tribute, I think, to somebody. Yeah, I, I like that. I do it for myself, uh, you know, that I, I'm big on angels. Yeah, lovely. Thank you so much for watching, Milton. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our other great videos. And share this video with someone who may want to purchase something from the gallery upstairs. There's great gift ideas in here, and all together we need to support local business. We'll see you next week, Milton.